Hey guys, RTT back here for the video guys. Today we're giving my review of the Galaxy Z Fold 3 after seven months of owning it. And I will tell you right now, this is my favorite phone of all time, period. There is no phone I have loved more than this phone. The only phone that you come closer how much I love this phone is the Duo 1 and the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The only phones that even come close to this phone in my hand right here. And even with that being said, it's still really a tough competition because this phone just does so much for you. It's not even funny. Being able to have this outside display and being able to use it every single day of my life, being able to not even having to open my phone up to go ahead and use this cell phone. And when I do open it up, it's like literally, it's like Christmas morning, having a gigantic display that is very, in my opinion, very durable and just all around makes everything awesome. This is a car I use, I mean, phone I use every single day because it is mounted in my car. So I actually use this phone, this inside display right here as like a mini Tesla screen in my car. So I always have like, I can play music, do GPS, all that kind of stuff. So. I absolutely adore this phone right here. My favorite phone of all times. So let's go ahead and talk about after seven months, things I like, I dislike. Let's go ahead and break it down. So starting off right away, the things I like. This phone has an amazing battery. This battery lasts me pretty much all day long. And trust me, when you get this phone, if you ever use this phone, you're probably going to be using this phone nonstop. So the battery life being great is really, really good thing, especially with the Z Flip 3 being such a bad battery phone. This being good is an absolute W. Next thing I love about this phone is that this phone does have an amazing camera setup. Now, obviously, that is something where a lot of people get upset about is the inside display camera right here is a four megapixel under display camera which is not the greatest, but it does have a 10 on the front and three triple 12s on the back. And all three look crispy as anything you could ever think of. This phone is completely waterproof, so I don't have to worry about breaking it going out in the rain. Uh, it also does have NFC. It also does have wireless charging and very fast wireless charging, if I may add. And overall, it's just really nice phone to have. The inside display, I've had no issue with it at all. And I've said this before many times, especially with Android 12 now, there's not much I could really ask for this phone to be upgraded with with the Z Fold 4. Now, Z Fold 4 already has rumors of adding a bigger battery, um, a pen silo, a different hinge, a 50 megapixel camera, but there's not much more I could really add. So with that being said, I don't have too many cons or negatives. The only thing I would say that is negative is just the like the bulkiness of it. I mean, this phone is instead of it being like this Duo 2 or the Duo 1, where instead of it being like, you know, long and flat, it's kind of just small and compact, which not really a big deal. I mean, you guys can see right here. It's not really a big deal. It's not really a problem for me, but that is a problem for some people. And the inside display is a problem for some people. I've had no issue with it. And that's something I know a lot of people watching this video right now in this review. You guys are really caring about that because if it wasn't for that, then, you know, a lot more people would buy this phone other than my next con, which is the price tag. The price tag of $1,700 is so much freaking money. And it's really hard to justify spending $1,700 on a cell phone. It really, really is. With that being said, though, I will say I believe 100% is worth all the money, worth every single penny of that $1,700. Um, I have no issue with anything about this phone. So again, I'm just kind of biased because I love it so much. Uh, but 1700 is a lot to spend. So keep in mind what you're getting into. You're getting into a phone that's absolutely amazing, but it has a price tag for a reason. Next con, the inside crease display right here. And I've said this many times in my videos before, so this is not the first time I'm mentioning this. The inside crease is not that it's the worst thing ever. And it's not that I'm just absolutely... Just, I can't stand it, right? I can stand the crease. You know it's there. You feel it being there. And the only thing I don't like about it is it's still to this day, when you are scrolling and trying to touch something where the crease is, you can't touch something where the crease is. 
it will either touch above it or below it. It would never go straight in the middle. And that's the most annoying thing possible with the crease on this display. So why a lot of people love the Opera Fine and 5G is because it has no crease. And that no crease on the display makes a lot more people happy because you don't have to worry about touching the display and the crease you messing up, whatever the case. Now I've had no issue with this in gaming. I've had no issue with this period other than just if I'm scrolling on Instagram or I'm scrolling on my uh, Apple Music and I'm trying to touch something, if I try to touch a song, it will go above the song and below the song and it's really frustrating. But other than that, this phone is absolutely magical. This phone is everything you want in a cup of tea. I mean, there's not much more you can really ask in this phone. It has one of the latest, greatest processing units in it. It has 12 gigabytes of RAM. It has NFC. It has Samsung DeX. Pretty much, if you want to say a perfect smartphone, this is it except for the price tag. The price tag and the crease display is the only thing holding this thing back right now. Would I recommend anyone watching this video to buy it? I want to say yes, but the price tag is just making me say no. I can't recommend someone pick up $1,700 phone, especially because it depends on what you're going to use it for. Um, there are downsides of the inside display being a little bit fragile. It's not as fragile as last generations. I have no issue with it, but there will be people out there who have issues with this inside display. Keep in mind, this inside display is plastic. This display right here is going to be plastic and a thin layer of glass that can be broken. You do have to baby it to a certain degree, not as much as the previous generation because this does actually support S Pen inside. You can use the S Pen on this inner display. I do not do it because I do not trust it. But with that being said, though, you can use the S Pen on the inside display. So if you are thinking about going ahead and you know, pick up this phone, you have some type of you know inner security knowing that at least if an S Pen can buy on this, you're probably not going to break it. After seven months, <laughs> this thing still looks as brand new as it can come. With that being said, though, durability wise for this phone, I mean, I have zero scratches on this phone and it has been my daily driver for two thirds of the time I've owned it. Um, you know, as you guys already know, with the tech channel, we go ahead and change out phones regularly. Pretty much we went from, you know, Surface Duo 2 when that came out from being the daily driver, the Duo 1 was the daily driver for a little bit of time. And the Z4 3 was a driver for two thirds of the time. So I kind of, once I switched over from the, you know, Duo 1 to the Z4 3, I had to switch over real fast to the Duo 2 for, you know, obviously as a daily driver. <laughs> but I went back to the Duo uh, Z4 3 and I absolutely love it. <laughs> this is one daily driver I never want to get away from. So definitely will tell you out of 10, this gets a perfect 10 in my book. I said it yesterday with this Duo 2. It's really hard to ever get a perfect 10 in any kind of review, but there's just nothing wrong with this phone. And now that I paid the $1,700 price tag, I can now sit here and just say, this phone is perfect and I absolutely love it. So again, like I said, I know this is not like a video of me bashing the phone. And obviously, yes, there are videos where I go and I talk about phones being good or bad. This is just not the bad phone. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the likes, comment down below. See you.